Good day, good day, my friends. How's everybody doing? Well, my wife called earlier around lunchtime and she wasn't feeling too good. So I decided to come on home from work, take the rest of the day off and take care of the baby so she could get a little rest. It's kind of hard to hug the toilet with one hand and hold the baby with the other. Hey, this is Catalea. This is partly who this food forest is named after. And I'm going to make another tour because I don't have a full tour for this for this channel yet. I've had other channels in the past and talked about many different things and uh, with all the algorithms and censoring and shadow blocking and shadow banning and everything else, I'm just tired of dealing with it. So from now on, this is strictly a fruit and gardening channel. That's Marley and Miley. But you're looking at a uh, Hawaiian red papaya here. I planted as a, as a seedling at the beginning of this year and man has it taken off. It is truly beautiful. Let's walk around and take a look. Yeah, the ponderosa lemon. Not quite turned yet. Still green. These are some big lemons. Such a beautiful tree. Amazing. This, this little guy here is a Tahitian lime. Only about, uh, I guess about two years old now, a year and a half old. Starting to put on a lot of new growth. Over here we have the uh, the pomelo, the high ram bhutan pomelo. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I do this guys for for that little voice you just heard. I want her to grow up eating fresh fruit and vegetables. This is fahoa or pineapple guava. There's another fahoa. Pineapple guava. This beautiful guy here is goes by many different names. Strawberry tree, melonberry tree, uh, che tree. That's what it's called in China is a che tree. C H E Chinese mulberry. This guy here is a a pond can tangerine looking beautiful yeah I'm tired of eating all the chemicals that that they sell you at the store not just that quit boy you don't know I mean with the uh, Cinemix HEK 293 or 239 it's actually a food additive made out of aborted fetuses. Well, that's pretty sick. They're trying to turn us all into cannibals. This guy here is a red lime. These will actually turn red when it's ripe. It'll have red skin and red flesh. This beautiful guy here is a Valencia orange. Putting on a lot of new growth, looking really beautiful. Here's one of my loquat trees. Right next door to it, I have another one. So beautiful, guys. You can grow these pretty much anywhere and have the tropical look. 
they can handle down in the low twenties, probably the high teens. This is Moringa, the miracle food, the most nutritious plant on earth. What happened to it, Thomas? Well, that tropical storm Sally or Hurricane Sally we just had almost pulled it up by the roots. I mean, it was bent over. So I had to cut. I mean, it, it was tall. It was way taller than these branches and full. And every time the wind would blow, it was about to take it over. Sorry for the shaking. I'm trying to hold my baby and film this. She's over here picking them. She loves to eat the Moringa leaves. Yeah, pick you another one, baby. <laughs> yeah, get another one, baby girl. That's good for you. So I had to prune it back pretty heavy. Here is the Lang Jujube. And this, I think, is the sweetest of all jujubes. I'm pretty sure it's about 75 or 80 percent sugar. Very delicious. I love the beautiful leaves on these jujubes. They're so shiny and beautiful. They look like they're wet. This is my Brogdon avocado. It's getting tall. It handled the cold. It handled the heat. No problem. This is my Hall avocado. And it's looking beautiful too. No damage to it from heat. No damage from the cold last year. This is the Leela avocado. It's not been in the ground too long, but. Can't wait to try those. This is one of my nectarines, a sunburst nectarine. Next door to it, we have another one. I forget the name of this one. Next door to it, we have a white uh, tropic snow peach. And for some strange reason, it's blooming again. I don't know. I don't know why. It's never done this before. And here we have the orange flesh peach tree next door to it. Girl, quit pulling my hair. These are American pawpaws. Here's the Camito, the star apple. I just love those gold undertones on the leaves. A bunch of bananas here. It's the Blue Java ice cream banana. Cavendish, dwarf Cavendish. This guy is the Carambola. Beautiful, beautiful tree. It has really put on a lot of new growth. Here we have the white sapote, the subel, white sapote, beautiful as ever, and I just love fruit trees, I love exotic fruits, I think I got an addiction, no it's not a drug addiction, I've already been there, done that, I'm not addicted to fake sports, I'm not addicted to chasing women, I'm not addicted to alcohol, I'm not addicted to watching television, I'm not addicted to politics, I'm only addicted to growing beautiful exotic fruit trees and taking care of my family and providing safe and nutritious fruit for them to eat. I mean, what else is real once you find out everything else is fake? The only thing that's real are these trees.
and the friends you make in your family. Here we have the white Indian guava. Next door to it, we've got the red Indian guava. They look a lot like the Catalea guava, but it's, uh, it's a pretty rare fruit. I've only seen one place that sells these trees. And by the way, I'm in Zone 8, Florida, North Florida. I'm not in South Miami. I'm not in Homestead. I'm not in uh, Fort Myers. So I've been told that I can't do this, that I can't grow this stuff. But I've been succeeding. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do anything, folks. Get out and try it. Even if you fail, at least you tried. Here we've got the uh, lemon guava. Me and my wife ate one of these yesterday. It was so delicious and it's constantly putting on new blooms. This guy here is the uh, Sherwood jujube. It's the largest jujube. It's, it's the size of a small apple. Very delicious. Behind it here I got two more fajoas, pineapple guavas. Look at this beauty here. I do grow some flowers to keep the bees around so they pollinate everything. Then over here, look what we got. We got the canistel, the egg fruit. You can't grow that, Thomas. It's too cold. Well, she looks good to me, boys. Uh. Yeah, it looks good to us, don't it, baby girl? Don't let nobody tell you you can't do nothing in this life. Got another pineapple guava here. Beside it, we got the uh, ruby red grapefruit. Here is the Jabuti Caba, or the Brazilian cheap tree grape. She's doing excellent. You can't grow that, Thomas. It's too cold. Putting on new growth. This little guy here is the uh, Florida Beauty Berry. Makes excellent jellies. It really doesn't have a taste if you eat it fresh. The leaves can also be used to make mosquito repellent. This is the Katie Apricot. And it didn't like the 100, de 100 degree days, so it dropped all of its leaves. I see it starting to push some new ones out. Granny Smith apple here. It doesn't like the heat too much either. Got an Anna apple here. And this is actually blooming. Wonderful pomegranate. And the wind almost blowed this pomegranate over too. I'm going to put some super triple phosphate to help them get their deeper roots established. I don't know why all of a sudden they started loading everything up with nitrogen. But I staked it down. That's so funny. You see Bandit? This is the Wari Satsuma. I planted it the same time as the Tahitian lime about a year and a half ago. <laughs> Tahitian lime. Here we have the navel orange.
And this is the tangerine mandarin hybrid. Really, really sweet and delicious fruit here, man. Awesome. Now this orange tree, I'm not sure what kind it is. I brought it at a gas station a few years ago. Delicious fruit on it. This is another orange that I brought the same day at the gas station. You can see it's loaded with a lot of new growth. I just pruned it back really heavy because it was it was getting out of control. What's crazy is I planted this papaya at the same time. It's a seedling too. And look how small that fruit is compared to the other one. This papaya here doesn't have any fruit yet. It's got flowers, but no fruit yet. And I planted it at the same time. So you just never know, guys. You, you don't never know. Just keep trying. Some things work, some things don't. This is the Everbearing Mulberry. And my daughter absolutely loves these things. It, uh... I pruned it back three times this year, and every time I prune it, it gives me more fruit. And you gotta prune it. If you don't, it'll get out of control. It'll be so big you can't you can't manage it. And like I say, every time I prune it back, it gives me more fruit. That's another pomegranate. I don't know what's wrong with this guy. Like I say, some things work, some things don't. This is my oldest pomegranate, and look at it. It looks like crap. I think I'm going to dig it up, try something else. Girl, you eating papaya leaves? She loves to eat the leaves off the trees. This is a black Pakistani mulberry. I just planted this. And I'll do a tropical fruit tour of all my tropical trees and containers on another video. I don't have time. But this is a uh, methley plum. Got the Santa Rosa plum. Uh, the Bruce plum. And they're starting to look a little better since it's starting to cool down some here in Florida. It has been really hot. The last few days we've had you know 60s and 70s 60s at night 70s in the day today it's heated back up to 80 but still better than 90 and 100 and this is my key lime this is a garden i'm making for next spring lay that cardboard down to smother out the weeds and then i'll come back and put some uh Probably some hay or straw and mulch and then put some soil on top. This is my hood pear. And this is my pineapple pear. And this little guy here I just planted. This is a medlar, M-E-D-L-A-R. This is a very, very ancient fruit that actually fruits during Christmas. The fruit's ready to eat during Christmas. I can't wait to try them. It's actually got kind of a tropical look to it as well. These are a couple blueberries. And that's an elderberry. This is the big daddy of them all, the loquat, and it's loaded, loaded, loaded. Beautiful, such a beautiful tree. Absolutely loaded with blooms. But I gotta prune it, cause what good's all that fruit up there? You can't reach it. I don't feel like climbing a ladder. This 
It's a fig tree. Believe it or not, this fig tree is about 20 years old. And that's what it looked like, this stem here. I got it from my father. He had it in a container in the shade for 20 years. And it never did anything. I planted it out here a year ago and all this is new growth. And it's loaded with figs now. It's the Fuyu persimmon. The Hachia persimmon. I transplanted it. It's not looking too good. I hope I didn't damage the tap root. This is the Amoto Fuyu persimmon. And it's putting on new growth. Just planted these about a week ago, guys. This is another Amoto Fuyu. And this is the Meikawa Jiro persimmon. Anyways, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the tour. I appreciate y'all watching. Like, share, subscribe. If you got any tips for me, I don't mind listening. I don't know everything. I'm learning just like everybody else. Between working a full-time job and helping take care of a newborn daughter, I don't have a lot of time, so I kind of quit gardening. This is actually an old garden bed. You can see the sprinkler set up, but I just don't have the time. So, I'm going tropo. Tropo. My friend George inspired me to go tropo. Alright guys, y'all take care. I'm out of here.